So DraftKings is the largest provider of one-day fantasy sports. If you're familiar with the concept of fantasy sports, what we do is shrink that down all the action into one day. So our users come to our site, they pick a, a lineup, which is like a set of players, and they compete against other users. And the results of the contest are determined by the real-world performance of the athletes that they chose based upon their actual sporting events. Our users can enter in the contest and play for free, or they can take a chance against thousands of other users and compete for up to a $1 million prize. So Vivid Cortex is the primary tool we use to monitor the health and status of our, all of our databases. We use RDS and we use Vivid Cortex to make sure that as new releases go to production that new queries are performing as we expect to make sure that input and output stats remain steady and to help diagnose performance blips as well. So before a symptom of that DraftKings would, our systems would encounter would be kind of these blips in latency. We would notice on our charts that something would go slow. And so what Vivid Cortex allowed us to do is whenever we get one of those latency blips uh, on our charts is to go into Vivid Cortex and kind of look into and see, okay, is there any um, query that was ex executed a lot more frequently during that period of time? It really help us narrow down or our, our search into figuring out what are causing those anomalies, or if it's something that's even worse where our, the site is actually down and not responding, to kind of take a look and insight into kind of figuring out what we can do to kind of uh, you know, get the databases back into a healthy state. We definitely use it to um, analyze uh, issues forensically. We'll take a look and see what was happening at a point in time. And I think the visualizations and the um, point in time analysis that you can do in Vivid Cortex has been very, very useful for us to say, hey, we were pulling data from the system at, uh, around 2 in the morning. It was slow today. Well, how do I figure, how do I figure out what happened? Go to Vivid Cortex, pull the slider, see what's happening, look at the, the queries that we're running, do a sort. Very, very easy, easy to use. Being able to look at the information quickly, get the answer quickly. I can go easily and, you know, into Vivid Cortex and after we deploy something and see how it's running, see like, the, you know, there's this new query, it showed up on this server, but I expected it to be on one of the read replicas, we need to fix that. It provides us with the performance metrics that I need to tell my developers how I want them to optimize or uh, change things that we write. DraftKings is, um, has very high peaks in terms of its traffic usage. So for us, our you know, Cyber Monday, so to speak, is week one of the NFL season. So we have a huge sudden increase in demand that we spend a lot of time preparing for. And Vivid Cortex is a great way for us to sort of assess how much effort we need to put into scaling our database infrastructure.